It's not visible to the human eye, but the Leaning Tower of Pisa isn't leaning quite so much these days. In fact, it's actually straighter than it has been for centuries, by about an inch. The change has taken 12 years, the result of a monumental reconstruction project, no pun intended. The $40 million spent to save the tower from what many saw as imminent collapse is value for money, according to technical director Giuseppe Bentivoglio. For the next two or two and a half centuries, there will be no need for another intervention, he says. This is for certain. The name Pisa dates from about 600 BC. It's ancient Greek for marshy land. So it's no surprise that one side of the tower began to sink shortly after construction began. The engineering project to correct the tilt involved attaching cables and enormous lead weights as a counterbalance, then extracting soil so the structure would settle back. Today, lawns and walkways cover the extraordinarily complex engineering work. But the tower's statistics speak volumes for the accomplishment. Construction began 600 years before the U.S. Declaration of Independence and took 200 years. At 180 feet, it's barely a third the height of the Washington Monument, but it weighs 14,500 metric tons, roughly the same as the Brooklyn Bridge. It's classed as one of the seven modern wonders of the world. It certainly leaves thousands of American tourists in wonder. Are you surprised at what you see? Yes, yeah. I'm surprised it's not falling over. <laughs> that it hasn't, like, fallen over. The lean, of course, is what makes the tower more than just another magnificent example of ancient architecture. If they straightened it all the way up, would you bother coming? No. no. Heck no. <laughs> so wh what's the attraction? What, was it, what, made, what brought you? you came, to get a photo. Yeah, yeah, photo op. You came all this way for a photo op. More than half a million visitors a year in pursuit of their Kodak moment gasp their way up the nearly 300 stone steps that spiral to the top, unaware that the tower actually moves most of the time. The tower is like 58 meters. It's sensitive to the temperature and the wind, engineer Bentivoglio says, and especially to the underground layer of water, which varies depending on the season. Even if you could feel the movement, however, the stupendous views make up for it. And for those who get the timing right, one of the seven bells that represent the notes of the musical scale will chime. Fortunately for the sake of the tourist hearing, only one bell is run electronically. The sound of all seven would make the human body and the structure vibrate. The tower is the crowning glory of a piazza known as the Field of Miracles, which may sound like something of a conceit. But then again, given available evidence, maybe not. For CBS This Morning, Alan Pizzi, Pisa.